how to contact the National Visa Center. So the National Visa Center uh, has a few different ways you can get in touch with them. And this is a really common question. People are having, they have issues with their online SIAC account. Uh, that's an account where uh, you have to upload documents and get prepared for the next phase in your immigration case for, so the interview can be scheduled, specifically individuals who are petitioning for their spouse or uh, children or parents. After you file the I-130, you'll use this online SEAC account. Another reason you might want to contact the NVC is uh, to obtain a, the National Visa Center um, to obtain your case number. And so for uh, many of you who receive, um, when you receive your I-130 approval or uh, I-129F approval, you'll notice that on that notice, it says if you don't receive your case number within a certain amount of time, you can contact the National Visa Center um, to ask for a status on that and to obtain the case number. So I wanna walk you through how options available, how you can contact the National Visa Center. So if you'll give me a moment, I will share my screen. And let me know if you can't, if for any reason you can't see this clearly enough. So when you contact, options to contact the National Visa Center. So you can always call, you can always call the National Visa Center. So if you go to NVC contact information, it'll have all these details for you, but I wanted to walk you through um, the, the two options. So you can always call uh, the National Visa Center. They have their number for immigrant visas and non-immigrant visa inquiries. Uh, sometimes the wait can be long. What our office likes to do is we like to try to call early in the morning um, or later in the evening. There tends to be a shorter wait time, but do be prepared if you call for information that you may have to wait a while. So phone calls are definitely an option. And then the other option um, is through the inquiry portal. And so you'll see the link here. Um, NBC does not uh, take inquiries by mail, um, but Really, we're in a time in the world where snail mail is not uh, usually our go-to anyway. So the inquiry portal is the way that you can contact uh, the National Visa Center. Um, they don't have an email that you can email them. We used to have that, uh, but now we have um, this inquiry portal, which is the, the equivalent or similar to um, emailing the National Visa Center. So again, this portal can be used if you're having um, issues with your SEAC account. The SEAC account is very glitchy. Um, we often find we might submit a document and it'll say we still need to submit a document even though it's clearly there. So if you're having technical issues like that, this um, public inquiry form, we use this a lot and we find that to be very helpful. Um, and like I said, the other thing you can use this for is to obtain your National Visa Center case number. So um, public inquiry form, pretty self-explanatory information that you can provide. If you don't have your NVC case number yet, you can use your USCIS receipt number, and that's the number that's on the receipt notice you receive from immigration. Um, you know, the, everything else, like I said, is self-explanatory that you fill out. Make sure you definitely provide an email address so they can respond to you. Um, and then, you know, with regards to whatever your inquiry is. So it might be um, you know, I received an approval notice, more than 60 days have passed, I have not received my National Visa Center, or, or my case number, rather. Or I'm having the following issues with my SEAC account. We like to take screenshots of some of the technical issues that we're having and attach them um, so they can see exactly um, what the issue is so they can respond to you. And so those are the two options to contact the National Visa Center by phone or by using this public inquiry form. So hopefully, um, hopefully that is a good tool to help you if you're needing assistance with that.